Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm a student at Hope College, and today I'm going to show you how to attach high temperature superconducting chips using epoxy film. Okay, here we are in the chemistry lab. We're pulling out our epoxy out of the freezer. This is a special conductive epoxy that has little little fragments of silver in it to help uh, help conduction. This uh, epoxy needs to stay in the freezer to help preserve it. It has a longer shelf life, and it's very delicate, so. Uh, uh, be careful when handling it. All right, we only need a little piece, so we just we'll just cut it out. All right. Now the epoxy will need to warm up for about 30 minutes before I use it. So I'm gonna put that in there. Put our epoxy one. Now that our hot plates and our epoxy is warmed up, we need to clean off our titanium carrier. To do that, we need to apply a few drops of acetone, scrub it with a cotton swab, and then Rinse it with rinse it with isopropanol. And then dry with your Kim White. Okay, the next thing to do is to cut the epoxy. And to do this. I'm going to just make a trace with of my chip and I'm going to use uh, drawing it with just a pencil. <clears throat> Next, remove one side of the contact paper that is on the epoxy. Okay. And the other side should be a light tan color. And now we're going to set that on our carrier, that we, our titanium carrier that we just cleaned off. and set that on our heat plate that's about 45 degrees Celsius. Mine's just a touch hotter. Now I'm going to use a pen as a rolling pen. And I'm going to try to roll out from the center to the outside any air that might be trapped between the epoxy and, and the carrier. Okay. I'm going to wait for just a couple seconds as the heat sink cools it and then peel off the extra the other side of the contact paper. Now, I'm going to use a use my file as a scribe and scribe in a serial number. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to, so to select a superconducting chip, and I'm going to select this one right here. Got to carefully turn it over. Okay. Now I'm going to take a fiberglass brush and 
gently brush the back side of the gold. This uh, cleans off any dirt that might have built up or any residue. And now I'm going to do a quick rinse with IPA or isopropanol. is now prepared. Okay, the next thing we do is we place the chip on our epoxy. Now we take this and we set it into our oven, which uh, has reached up uh, to 150 degrees Celsius. The oven's hot, so be careful. And I'm going to carefully set a stainless steel weight on this chip. And I'm going to set one more. Now, for this epoxy to cure, you need 5 to 10 pa uh, psi on this chip uh, in the oven for 30 minutes. Uh, so it has to cook for 30 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius with 5 to 10 pounds of pressure. And I'm checking to make sure that the weights aren't balancing on the carrier on the side, that they're actually balancing on the chip. And we close up our oven, and now we wait for 30 minutes. It's been a half an hour now, and so I'm going to open up my oven and take out our sample. really hot so I'm being careful not to touch the sides. Setting it on the aluminum heat sink to cool down. <clears throat> this will just take a minute to cool uh, and uh, it'll take a couple hours for the epoxy to harden. Uh, if you leave it overnight uh, then that should be plenty. Uh, the next thing we got to do is inspect it under a microscope to make sure the chip set properly and that the chip wasn't damaged in the process. So let's uh, let's go next door to uh, to a microscope. Here we all here we are all set up next door microscope. Let's set this Chip. Let's see if there's see how if there's any spaces between the chip and the epoxy. Looking through the top of the chip to see if there's any damage on the bottom. Looks good. Okay, now that we've inspected our chip. We have to rinse it off one last time with isopropanol. Just a just a drop is all it takes. You should probably let it air dry. I'm just going to gently pat it with our with our Kim wipe. Now make sure you uh, mark the logbook, and uh, here's our final product. I'm Andrew, and thanks for watching.